need to organize our data now, so we need to create a class that can hold that. We're going to create a class called weather, and we're, we only are interested in this main right here. Precisely, we want the temp at min and the temp max, and that's it. We're going to create a weather class with a nested class inside of that called main, temp to temp min, temp max. We're just going to create a class here, same as usual, except we don't go to Java class. We do Kotlin file plus class, reader weather. Now with Kotlin, it doesn't by default give you the code to create the class. You have to create yourself, so class weather. You don't put public class weather. Um, with Kotlin, the regular class is the same thing as final with um, Java. So whenever you want a class that you can extend with, you just make it open. They're by default closed, so you can't, so other classes can't extend weather. We're just going to create a, uh, our main. Don't need the keyword with main. With, um, with creating an object, we don't need the, the new keyword. I create temps. Now you don't have to put the type. I prefer putting the type mainly because it's a little easier to just uh, skim what it exactly is. A message well, is zero. Now we're looking at functions. So with Kotlin, we need to create a function with fun word. And we're just going to create a greeting, a very simple greeting. Parameters. And we're going to put in our string. So we're going to put in our text. We're going to make it a type of string with this. Um, colon. So text is type of string. And if you wanted more, you could always put just a comma and then other text string. We only need one. We're going to do a print line and then text. Test this out. And delete that. Delete really um, now we're going to test this out. We now have our hello there. We can do so much more than just that. Let's try and make a math problem. Let's try and have a num1 and a num2. So we're just going to do a uh, sum. And we're just going to return num1 plus not two. Our return type isn't to the left of our function name, it's actually to the right. Really brief. And we're going to do the same thing as when we're declaring a type. We're declaring a type for this function. We're creating the return type as int. And when we have a Create a um, 
sum the um we're gonna create an answer of the sum right one plus five and we're gonna do a print line and do uh answer fancy the uh, string right there a little easier. Our answer is six. Nice and simple. Colin is also nice and simple. We're going to be diving deeper more into classes now. So we have an animal class and we have a walk. So each animal can walk. And we have a dog and we can extend that. But we're not going to do it like Java where, where we do extends. We simply just do the return type, the um, the same how we would do it with functions, but this is with extending. So we're extending animal now. The problem is, is that animal is a class and it's by default final, so we can't extend animal right now. How we can change that is we can make animal open. And that makes it open to be extendable. So now we can extend animal, but we have to invoke its constructor first. So now when we do dog, we can call walk and everything. And But what if it was an, an interface? That must be different, right? Well, it is. Interfaces don't need to be open. They're already open by default. And we can override walk.